in Lagos, Nigeria. Landway is on a racing mission to building a record breaking of 4,000 homes by the end of Q4 2023. A project was started in 2019 with over five projects, Urban Prime, The Apartment, Hockley, among others. We are closing in gradually on the numbers, taking over the entire axis of North Lagos. It is groundbreaking. To construct these numbers, a team must battle an ever-increasing inflation rate, waiting periods, acts of God, scarcity of quality materials and strict adherence to quality. These landway projects rank in the league of best real estate designs and quality in the country. This is the inside story of the process of achieving this extraordinary goal of 4,000 homes. The vibrant city of Lagos, a growing hub and epicenter of Nigerian commerce, infrastructure and technological advancements, also renowned for its rapidly growing real estate developments with Landway and the forefront of the industry being Nigeria's leading real estate developer. With the goal of building 4,000 homes to accommodate the ever-increasing population of the city, hence creating a solution to the home scarcity issue that is forecast to happen in a few years. Building 4,000 homes starts with building one house and the detailing that goes into that construction in the pre, during and post stage. It all starts with research of the proposed sites to be constructed on and getting qualified hands to handle the project, starting from architects to structural engineers mechanical and electrical engineers, on-site consultants and contractors. At the design table, the architect and structural engineer work to create a workable piece, both design-wise and structural-wise, producing building designs that speak the integrity and forward-thinking attribute of the company, a beacon for the future of the company. In Landway, our kind of designs are basically contemporary designs. Contemporary with some, a blend of minimalist architecture. In design, there's what we call designing according to grid lines. So for every design you come up with, you try to follow a, you know, the grid line pattern. You don't just you know, place walls anyhow. And that is what we do in Landway. And in Landway, we have um, you know, systems in place. We go to site, you know, you know, constant visit to site, so as to see that what is being, you know, constructed or being the contractors are doing follows what we, you know, prescribe, what we design. And that is not, you know, just by the way, something we do actively. Before selecting the contractors to work on a building, they go through our pre-qualification process to know their construction methodologies, reference documents, visit their sites to assess their works, site environment and number of professionals. We do our due diligence before we engage any contractor. The legal team prepares their contract and they go ahead to procure materials for construction, after which a site supervisor cross-checks the materials that have been procured. During construction, we have a finishing manual with specifications for everything to be followed in detail. For us at the Landry Project team, we are very particular about the quality. And um, quality for us starts with um, the carcass, the frameworks. Um, those would include our foundation, our columns, the beams, um, generally the structure, the structure rather, that puts together the old piece. So for example, when we cast our ground floor slab, we ensure that um, we wait 28 days as is the standard. It may um, be time consuming 
but we always ensure that we go through all our processes to ensure that while we are also delivering, we also meet up with the quality that we need to meet up with. We have a bi-weekly site meeting. Um, these meetings, we go through everything that has happened in the past two weeks. Um, we also have like um, a list of documents, like checklists for each construction process. For example, when I'm setting up my foundation, I have my checklist, what I'm checking for my ground beam, what I'm checking in my slabs, what I'm checking in my reinforcement, have they been placed properly so we have various checklists of which they are resident with the resident engineers which are used to monitor and control whatever the contractors are putting up on site we have consultants on site structural consultant architectural consultant mechanical and electrical consultant to cross check what the contractors are doing to double check on the standard of their work going the extra mile to ensure quality control. All on-site professionals are ensured to be current certified, a widely acclaimed engineering institution here in Nigeria. We do quality assurance and quality control. Now the work begins. When it comes to uh, delivering of projects, we have uh, a, a major issue which is uh, cost. Uh, we have uh, inflation. Inflation is actually affecting our deliveries because considering the, the basic materials that we use in construction like the, the cement and the, the granite uh, and the reinforcement. So in Nigeria we are actually experiencing more than 30% inflation rates in cost of those materials. For example, the reinforcement as at two years ago, the cost of reinforcement per ton is around uh, 300 per ton and uh, looking at it now it has increased to like 500 and something you understand so oftentimes contractors want to give an alternative that okay can we use an alternative uh, materials like not up to standard you understand so but in land where we don't allow that we make use of good quality reinforcement another uh, material that has increased is the cement the cement, the cost of cement as of two years ago was like 3,600 thereabouts per bag. So as at now, the cost of cement is 4,200 per bag. So these are the things that actually affect deliveries because oftentimes contractors, we stop work and we call for the negotiation of the contract as have been awarded before. So all these actually causes delay in construction. Time, a major factor when it comes to construction and delivering to clients. However, to ensure quality development, preparation and procuring of some building materials ranges from 10 to 28 days waiting period at different stages of construction, taking considerable time from the delivery timeline. The contractor provides the program of work to have a timeline for building deliverables, to break down the work structure, as the construction begins, site meetings are held every two weeks to know the progress being made and the challenges being faced on site. A major challenge is inflation, with the harsh state of the economy which seems to affect everything including building materials. Prices go up by 15% and in some cases double the initial price at the beginning of the construction. The effect of price fluctuation on the speed of construction could cause contractors to halt work or veer from using quality building materials, affecting delivery timeline overall. Despite dramatic price increase and inflation, we never compromise on the quality of materials we use. The weather also determines how fast progress can be made. After construction, a process called stagging is done cross-check the building in case of any faults. There is a snag list for each building to check for things that need correction, after which a completion form is signed to show that the contractor has completed work on that building and all professionals will sign off on it to show an agreement that the architectural, structural and mechanical and electrical components of that building have been completed successfully. This is followed by any defect and liability period of six months. 
meaning any defect that happens on a building is going to be fixed by the contractor. The contractor is therefore solely liable for any defect once the completion form has been signed. Post-construction. Once the construction team is done with the building, we have a team that goes to check that the houses are ready to be delivered to clients. Then the CRM team does the official handing over of the house to the clients. We work tirelessly to ensure that our clients get the best value for their money. And we ensure that by paying detailed attention to process. Because the process determines the quality of the end product, which we never compromise on.